are starting up close and personal today because I'm getting ready to head out and I thought I would show you all some of the makeup products I've been using day to day. And as you know, I've been trying to incorporate some more natural beauty products into my routine. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of an assortment, some new natural products, as well as some old standbys. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with foundation. Today I'm going to be using this foundation from Kier Weiss. This is their cream foundation and I have it in the shade like porcelain, which I believe is the lightest shade that they offer. And Kierweiss packaging is beautiful. It's very weighty and then it slides open to reveal the product. And this color, when I first got it, I was a little worried it was going to be too yellow, but once I blend it out, it really seems to work with my skin tone. So first I'm going to take it on a synthetic foundation brush and just apply it where um, I'm most red, mostly in the center of my face. The only real negative to this foundation is that it is very hard to blend. So I'm going to switch from the foundation brush and I'm only using that to really apply the product and then to blend it out, I'm going to move on to a damp beauty blender and just really press the foundation into my skin. And this helps move the foundation around as well as just create a seamless look on my skin. As you can see, this foundation is more on the sheer side when it comes to coverage. But my other favorite thing about this foundation is how easy it is to build up. So anywhere I have a little bit of extra redness, I can go in with a second layer and really work to cover that up. And it still looks very natural on the skin. Today, all I'm doing is I'm meeting my friend Karen for lunch, and then we're gonna go into the city and see the cherry blossom. So I don't need anything full coverage. So this foundation is really good for me just every day meeting friends or going to work. I am just going to add a little bit more to the redness on my cheeks and around my nose. That is my foundation done. Now I'm going to move on to my under eye circles and just try to counteract a little bit of the blueness that's going on there. I'm going to be using this product from the All Natural Face, and this is their Salmon Vegan Liquid Concealer. And it does have that little bit of a pinky salmon tone to it. So I'm just going to apply just a light amount of this just to help cancel out any blue. I'm also going to blend this out with just the tip of the beauty blender. To set that concealer, I'm gonna use a brightening powder, and this is from Silk Naturals, and it's called their Sleep in a Jar in the color Extra Light Peach. And I have that, just a little bit of that on a Real Technique setting brush, and I'm just going to tap that underneath my eyes. I do really like the brightening of this powder, but I've only used it a few times, and I'm a little worried it makes my under eyes look a little bit dry, but I will keep using it, and then I'll report back to you. My favorite part of my makeup routine lately has been highlighter, and it's a specific product. It's the RMS Living Luminizer, and this has quickly become one of my favorite highlighters. So I just warm it up with my finger a little bit, and I'm going to work it on my cupid's bow as well as around my inner corner. And then I'm also going to apply this on my cheekbone. This product gives the prettiest glow, but it never looks too much. I think it's a great everyday highlighter. I used a brow pencil to darken up and shape in my brows, and now I'm gonna move on to a blush that I still can't seem to get enough of, and this is the Hourglass Ambient Blush in the shade Luminous Flush. And I'm gonna take that on my current favorite blush brush, which is the Real Techniques. I think this is called the multitask brush. I'm going to get that onto one side of the brush and then just tap it on the apples of my cheek and then lightly blend backward. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to do a really simple eyeshadow look. I'm going to be using the Paula's Choice Nude Mattes Palette. And I'm going to start by creating a blank canvas using this matte cream color called Cream. And I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush and just dust it on my lid all the way up to my brow bone. Now I'm going to use this shade called Tan. I'm going to take it on a slightly larger crease brush. I'm going to place this very lightly in my crease. I don't want a lot of dark color, but I do want to add a little bit of definition. Since I tried to create a glowy look with my skin, I want to mimic that on my eyes. And the perfect color to do that is my favorite color from this entire palette. It's this one right here called Pink Sugar. And instead of really packing that on the lid, I'm taking another fluffy, crease brush, the first one that I use, and I'm going to dip that into the product, tap it off, and then I'm just going to lightly buff this color all over my lid and then also into the inner corner. 
Very basic eyeshadow look today, but I love how soft and glowy that is. And I think it's gonna be perfect for my day to day where I wanna look polished, but since I'm being outside, I don't want a lot of heavy makeup. So I don't want to disrupt this glowy look with a thick black liner. Instead, I'm gonna use a powdered eyeshadow. This one is from Silk Naturals and it's called Chocolate Twinkle. And it is a deep chocolate brown. It has a very beautiful, almost burgundy shimmer running through it. So I'm gonna take that on a push liner brush and then I'm going to wet the brush with this Elizabeth Den for One Love Organics Vitamin D Moisture Mist and kind of use that to create my own cream liner. And I found that when I use the Vitamin D Moisture Moisture Mist, the lasting time of this powdered eyeshadow is fantastic. So I'm taking the brush with the product on it and pressing it against my lash line and then wiggling just to make sure that I get the product right there at the base. To soften up the liner a little bit, I'm just taking that same fluffy brush, I've been using this a lot in this video, and just lightly pull up the product. And this is going to help create just a softer edge and then also help my eyes look a little bit more upturned. That is it for eyeshadow and eyeliner. Now all I'm gonna do is add some black mascara to both my upper and lower lashes. And lately I have been using and loving the CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash Mascara. For lips, I kept things really simple and used the Dior Lip Glow. And I love the color that this turns on my lips and it also gives a lot of hydration. And this is just the perfect product to be able to keep in my pocket and then I can just reapply throughout the day. This is my completed soft spring makeup, and I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these products in action. I have been enjoying it, testing them out, and I've really been happy, especially with that Kira Weiss Cream Foundation. That is just a beautiful product. But if you have a recommendation for another natural foundation, maybe one that's a little bit more budget friendly, please let me know because I would like to have one that I could kind of alternate with so I don't go through that Kira Weiss one too quickly. But that is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.